In each of the views available in Schedule, we can add, edit and delete different operations. Let's start with the Table view. If we go at the bottom here and click New Trip, a new window will open. In here we enter all the flight details. So we select an aircraft. The flight number can be predefined in the fleet settings or we can add it by hand. The date is automatically set to today's date, but we can change it if needed. Scheduled time of departure. The airport of departure. Leon will suggest available airports as we type in the code. The system accepts both IATA and ICAO codes. Airport of destination. And scheduled time of arrival. The system will estimate the time of arrival automatically given the aircraft speeds are provided. Block time is also automatically based on the system calculations. We can also add the number of passengers here or mark the box as ferry. The little plus adds another leg to the trip. The little bin removes the leg. This is how we initially add the flight. Remember that you can set all those details and more in the right hand filter. The checklist of flight preparation is used by Ops Department. It has been explained in detail in the video titled Flight Checklist. The Flight tab consists of the information we've already provided and more. You can add alternative airports. Leon can measure the distance. You can select the ICAO type. Pick different AOC if there's more than one. Set the rotation time and more. In the tab Trip, you can select the type of trip. You can set its status to Confirmed or Option. You can select a client, which you predefine in the phone book up here. Move a leg to another trip by entering the trip number and add additional notes and upload files if needed. In the tab Crew, we assign crew to a flight. In the tab Packs, we add passengers. Unlike in the initial flight adding window, here we can actually select passengers details. So if we add a Packs number, we have the positions that can be filled in, but don't have to if we don't have their details yet. The passengers can be put in by hand or sourced from the database. The system selects the default passport, but if a passenger has more than one passport, you can select it here. If the passenger's passport is expired, it will show in red underneath. Passengers can be also imported from a different leg on the same trip. If we click the little bin here, the position will be removed. The tab Fuel shows the data source from the handling section. The green color suggests lowest prices. This checkbox allows to include this information on the trip sheet. You can also add custom fuel prices by clicking the little plus here. Please note that when we are making any changes in the right filter, the tabs where the changes are made are turning blue. OK, flight watch and journey log section. In here you can enter all the movement information by hand or they can be imported from Eurocontrol. Leon can also automatically fill in the fields in FlightWatch using the movement messages. The system recognizes formats as ARING, CETA, SATCOM, ACAS. Some of the journey log information can be copied from the FlightWatch. The journey log doesn't have to be filled in completely in order to be saved correctly, but this data is later used to generate various reports and currency calculations, so we recommend to fill it in completely. The fields that show in the journey log tab are predefined in the operator settings. So if we go to the settings wheel and go to flight editing, we will see the section show in journey log. In here we tick the boxes that we want to see by default in the journey log tab. So when the journey log is filled in, in the column flight watch and journey log we will see a green dot. If there is some data missing, the dot will be orange. When we click in the dot, we will be taken back to the journey log tab. Please remember that the data set and inserted into the filter can be edited at any point. If you want to amend any details on any flight, simply click on the flight and click the button Edit Trip. In here we can change what we need, for example, the time of departure. 
and now we can see the button save is active and we can save all the changes that we've made. In the calendar view, you can nicely see the changes when you, for example, change the aircraft on the flight. So if you click on a flight, the editing panel will open and now when we change the aircraft and save the changes, we will be able to see the flight move to a different aircraft. There we go. Please remember that when you're trying to save a flight, either when adding a new one or changing the existing one, and there is something wrong, Leon may display a set of warnings. Ok, so let's make some changes to this trip. Now when I click save, the system will show me all the possible problems on this flight. We can of course skip the warnings and click save ignoring warnings and the flight will save. When we want to delete the flight we have two options, we can either click delete flight here or as I've mentioned before the little bin next to the leg. You will be asked for confirmation. If you want to delete the whole trip however you will need to use the delete trip button here. Again a confirmation, the trip is deleted. Given that we have the option of seeing cancelled flight in schedule, if we go to the tab schedule here and mark show cancelled flights, we will be able to see them even though they are cancelled. This works for all views. If we want to restore the flight, all we have to do is click on the cancelled flights and click restore here. We can also go to edit trip and click the two arrows next to the cancelled leg. Ok, so this is how we add, edit and remove flights. You can see at the bottom that you can add flights, positionings, offices and reservations on every view. However, you need to remember that in table we can only display flights, positionings and offices and in calendar and timeline you can see flights, maintenances and reservations. Adding and editing different operations are analogical to adding flights. So if we click the new reservation button, the editing panel will show where we can add all the reservations details. Click save and the reservations added. You can always go back to the editing panel, change any details or delete the reservation altogether. You will again receive the confirmation window when you try to delete it. It works the same for positionings and offices with the little additional fact that positionings and offices will be also visible in the section crew duties. More details about this aspect can be found in the video titled crew duties setup. Now we can see how easy it is to add and edit flight in Leon. For more information please check out our manual or contact our support team.